Raila Molodinga has complained you know, about churches supporting uh, Ruto, churches siding with Ruto. And today, Fletcher Bukati, the outgoing IBC chairman, has just posted something that of course has hungered Kenyans. Of course, Kenyans who are, who are, who are supporting Raila Molodinga. What has Fletcher Bukati posted? Now, um, folks, before you go on, let me take this time by saying hi to you. I believe you're doing well, wherever you are. Now, if you like politics, then this is your channel. Take your time, subscribe there, so that you'll be meeting here every time. You have some amazing contents. Now, sit back, grab a cup of coffee, as you listen to this. Um, Chebukati, no, last week, he was like a wardel, like the chairperson of the year. And of course, Kenyans were shocked, especially Kenyans who were supporting Rala Modinga, were shocked. Um, Chebukati has been accused by Rala, has always been accused by Rala Modinga. Rala is accusing Chebukati of conspiring with his opponent to bungle the elections. And of course, these claims have never been confirmed by the Supreme Court. Even though, in 2017, Maraga confirmed the claims, because in 2017, Raila also accused Chebukati, uh, you know, of conspiring with Uru Kenyatta to rig him out. And of course, Maraga found there were some problems in the elections. It not happened in a fight the elections. Now, this time around, Raila was not lucky enough to convince the Supreme Court, to convince Mother Kome with their team, to nullify Ruto's uh, victory. Now, Chebukati has been at the forefront, like Raila has been fighting him. Now, today, he posted something that, of course, shows that he was somehow <laughs> affiliated to Ruto's party. What did he post? Let me read for you, then, of course, I thought it, you see it on your screen. Great, grateful to the, I quote Chabukati, grateful to the religious leaders who came to pray with me at our home on 5th August, and all interreligious council members who kept vigil and stood Farm it from stood firm from intimidation. Indeed, there was divine intervention in protecting the will of the people. Yeah, he's thanking you know, these religious leaders who stood with them despite the intimidation that they were going through. Now, of course, when you talk about the religion, like in politics, what you see is Ruto. Ruto has been <laughs> um, has, has been friends to churches. He's been going to churches, dishing out money there. And of course, he's been telling Kenyans that Rela Moldinga is a Mganga who does not believe in God. And of course, this is a political propaganda. It's a propaganda, of course, that is meant to hoodwink Kenyans into thinking that Pluto is God sent. <laughs> and guess what? Kenyans really bought the idea. And of course, they believe that Pluto is a man of God. And Raila is a man of witches, <laughs> witchcraft, name it. But to me, that's propaganda. I don't believe Raila is a Mganga. That's just a propaganda, okay? No, in politicians are very clever. They use small things to convince millions of crowds. Now, Chebukati, Kenyans in, in Twitter, have castigated Chebukati. They're saying that Chebukati is, was working with Ruto. Why? Because his post, no, the, the, the way, he, no, the way he's, he's linking, you know, God with the elections. The same thing way Ruto has been doing, you know, entangling God with the elections. That's what Ruto, Ruto has been doing, you know, thanking God, which is true. God made him be, be the president, maybe. Of course, may, God made him be the president. We cannot, you know, underrate God's power. But the message they are portraying is that, uh, the message they are conveying is that uh, Raila is not a godly man, which is not right according to me. Now, Kenyans, people are, people are hungry, people are supporting Nala Mbodinga, that's saying that Chebukati is trying to show Kenyans the side he was leaning on during the elections. He's trying to show Kenyans what he did. Because the post does, because just two days ago, Raila castigated the churches. But today, Chebukati is praising the churches. It means that there's something here, you know, there's something, be, you know, with, there's something that's, that's happening there. Raila Mbodinga told Kenyans that churches uh, helped Ruto's presidency. Churches supported Ruto when Ruto had stolen his victory. And yet today, Chebukati is praising 
the church is the leaders so it shows that Chebukati was on one side okay he was not he was not on the last side that, that's the message behind it even though we never know what happened in the elections we don't know whether Ruto won fairly or not we don't have evidence of course eh? but you know this we are just trying to explain what we are seeing yeah in the Kenyan political arena no folks come and then tell me do you think uh, Chebukati is leaning on Ruto's side or Chebukati supported Ruto I'll let you hear from you comment there and like the video share it of course subscribe so that we meet you next time we have amazing contents thank you and see you soon in the next video thank you